This lesson will demonstrate how to use Trackster to download historical data directly from the controller. After you open Trackster, go to Data, Download Historical Data. In the Historical Data Download window, select the date range to download. The choices are All, Today, Yesterday to Now, Last 7 Days, Last 14 Days. All of these choices will down, download data up to now. So all will be the data that exists up to now. And today is all of the data that exists from midnight today up to now. Yesterday to now is all of the data from yesterday midnight to now. The last seven days is actually the last six days up to now last six full days up to now which is seven days and the last fourteen days is the last full thirteen days up to now making it the fourteenth day then you'll enter in the connection info the IP address and the telnet port or you can enter in the phone number and your local modem com port optionally you can s select this save a copy of the historical data checkbox what this does is saves the raw data to a place on your disk that you specify. And this is helpful and useful if you want to send your historical data to a colleague or to a different computer that is running Trackster. What Trackster does if this option is selected, it will download the historical data from the controller, insert the data into your database, and then make a copy of all that raw data to disk so that you can do something with that file. We'll select it so we can demonstrate how that works. You can name the file anything you wish. And then you click the download button. Traxor downloads the data imports it into your local database and makes a file of the raw data to this location on my hard drive. When you're done, you can close the window.